What is going on my friends? Ken the Gamer 04 and welcome back to LA Nor. We are going to continue the campaign, the white shoe slaying. Interesting, interesting. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I know I am. Yeah, I am having a good day so far. I took two EMS calls yesterday. Technically today I am recording in advance. Um took two yesterday, so it was interesting. It was fun. We'll see what this guy's going on. Or what's going on with this guy. gentlemen and what a grand morning it is too sure we is have just cause for celebration Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin a nice showy trial and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain oh my now the fresh business Galloway and Phelps the task is at hand the address is on the hill north downtown off Fremont Avenue yeah, we have another Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Another, uh, another murderer. Put him down, my sap. Another murder. murder. Those vice boys get any on the side? Will you move? A fine morning indeed. Yeah, I'm thinking of We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling. Stop them with one round. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, California's love of bad, you know. As long as the bricks hold up to San Quentin, they're always the killers. How long is this? Because I'm probably... He said it was like up the hill or something, right? So we got to do a U-turn. Oh no, we can actually go up. Wait. The crime scene, street crime. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should get us there in no time. <clears throat> Maybe if my dumb partner would hurry up, for God's sake. Come on, dude. Greetings from sunny California. Stop. Oops. Totally missed that. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows maketh the man. Right? You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Imagine if I went the wrong way. My god. Yep, I went the right way. Let's go, boys. That guy there will lead us up. That sure looks like it. Oh, wait. wait, wait. Why do we have to follow him? I'm stealing myself from what I'm about <coughs> to see. That'll just be another dead body, Turner. Get used to singing. You're the gig when you're working homicide, Phelps. Why are we going all the way up? Why couldn't I take this route up? And I swear to God, if I get nauseated from this one, I'm not going to do L.A. Nor anymore. Detectives, Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Okay. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. Oh. 
I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Well, we got something to work of. Work off of. And we have a five dollar bill here, I don't know. You might think it's junk, but to me it's not. Why? Wait, 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 wait. But where? Do you... Is it this? Okay, it's this. But then there's something else, too. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Yeah, we've got tire tracks, though. What's the big whoop? Ah, uh, there it is. The footprints. Gosh dang it. No drag marks. Yeah. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. So what, did she stumble all the way up here, or like what? Uh, like that gives us anything. Is this a rolled joint? Don't think this is anything. I don't know. Mm, a, B, C. Let's go investigate the body. Ah, oh, the bone cracking again. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. That's just the ticket number, though. And for God's sake... That was the that was what got me last time. Am I looking for anything? I mean, come on. No, I'm being dead ass. That really got me last time. Like I started getting severely nauseated and I just had I was like, "Oh god." And I stopped playing for a little bit. And then I came back to it and was like, "I am still so nauseated." No, 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 please don't. Oh, okay. Since when do we have a telephone up here? Like, just strategically placed up here. What's, what's this? Who in the world is this? In a police car? Oh, don't tell me that's the mother of Detective. the daughter. I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Oh. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Oh. Boy, um, ma'am, any suspicious Did persons? Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening. Okay. I saw that awful hobo. Okay. I'll give her the truth on this one. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? Okay. One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. Interesting. Help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. So, you're just gonna get back in the car and... Okay. Okay, let's, um, use the phone. Try and figure out what's going on. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How, uh, how can I help, Detective? How can I help, Detective? I love that I voice. Address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. 
Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Thank you. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. Interesting. I appreciate that. I don't think we ever get to know her name. Like, all right. Can you keep things under control until Pinker and Carruthers finish up? Sure, Detective. We'll stay out of their way. Oh? Is that is that it? Do we just leave? I believe so. I believe we just leave. I mean, there's really nothing else to do, right? I mean, we can do superior laundry services. Where's my partner? There's... There's Pinker and Crothers. Then there's these two. Where did my partner go? Oh, damn. He's in the... No, you know what? Just for that, you're gonna drive. Can you drive to this one? You're gonna drive. I don't care what you no say. Message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on there. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others, there are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. Yes, it there is. Doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? No, nope. I do not understand. Q, can you repeat that? Because I can't. I don't understand what you're saying, baby dear. I am the American Dream, Dusty Rose. He was such a good wrestler, man. I miss him. I miss watching him. Back when he was still around. I remember watching his last match, too. Ugh. I miss him so much. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Alright. What do we got here? Now, who do we talk to in this fine establishment? Makes the rain stop. Change back into the white box. Do we talk to Phelps you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register, and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. You wrote the number down that you're asking from there. Yeah, um, it's supposed to be F363, maybe? Oh, what the hell is it? See, now I gotta go back because I forgot the whole damn thing. Laundry label, right? F1363. Okay, oops. F1363. F1363. Yeah, right here. This is T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, Wesley. I pressed the. I was right the first time. So how come I. Okay, I don't know. So do we just leave or. I, I'm assuming that we leave. I'm assuming that we leave and we just kind of leave him alone. We're gonna go to, um... Let's go to the hobo camp. I want to see what the hobo we camp to has to offer. The hobo lead. Yeah, if you think we ought. Well, You're behind the wheel. I think we should. For God's sake, don't get hit, Rusty. And for God's sake, will my neighbor stop blowing his grass clippings into the road? Do you know how illegal that is? It is illegal in the state of New York. The hell's he yapping about? We're looking for a tall man with a disfigured face. Do you know him? Huh? What? I fought two moors, you know, son. Oh, I boy. I earned some peace and quiet. Uh, the bum isn't here. Look at these people. 
We should follow the enemy alone. These guys can win. Who says we can't investigate this? Any ideas? We have a lead. Let's find out what the husband has to say for himself. No, 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 no. I, I'm gonna I'm go investigate this. There's gotta be someone here that we can talk. What was that? What was that? I said that there'd be someone here to talk to. And I thought I heard a thing go off. I swear we have to investigate this. Something's telling me to. I mean, for all I know, we can find someone. Wow, this thing goes all the way down. I mean, there's gotta be someone we can talk to, like these an guys. An man, an Irish man, and a Scots man walk into the bar. Oh the bartender no. bartender looks up and says, what is this? Some kind of joke? <laughs> um, yeah, that's great. Is this legal, officer? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I just, I'm... The cops have been talking about on the radio. What an accommodation. Can I talk to you? Can I, I? Can I help me out? We have a lead. Let's find out what the husband has to say for himself. I mean, oh, I if you say that. so. I don't know, like. Uh, you got a problem, pal? I don't know. What the hell are we supposed to be doing? I mean. I guess, I guess we can, I mean, what am I, what, like, what am I supposed to be doing? I mean, it's just, it's just weird. Like, are you supposed to, I think I'm supposed to investigate this. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Dude, I'll be so mad if that, if the thing says at the bottom, you should have searched the hobo camp. I'll be so freaking mad. Because I know that there's got to be someone. I've got a feeling we're about to need another oh, wife killer. That's nice. You've always nice. got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Yeah, really. Just you wait. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. Sure they do? Wait. What do you mean? Oh, wait. Oh, NHL draft. That's right. Or am I thinking... Wait. No, it's got... Okay, whatever. I'm sorry. I'm getting off track here. I keep looking at Twitter. In between him driving. Or technically X. But now we gotta go investigate this residence. Dolls? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there's children. Hello? Yes? Detective Hi. Spencer Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? Oh, boy. My wife went out last night, and she hasn't come home. Oh, Can you no. Your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress. Uh oh. Toad white shoes. Oh. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad Tarleton. news. Tarleton. Bobby Ross. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. Dude, not in front of the kids. Please. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Oh, Jesus. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. Bro, why? I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton. We are going to need you to Why do you say it in front of the kids? First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... procedure. Yeah. See to your girls. Yeah. 
Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right. Oh. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem? Oh, Carlson? Jesus. Let him search. You got nothing to hide. I would hope he's got nothing to hide. Want to hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. Oh, God. To check if she was a regular. Baron's bar? <laughs> Jesus. I hate... Oh. Oh. Why the picture was turned down. Yeah, that, that's my question. Why was the picture turned down? This might become a longer video than expected, so I do apologize. But then again, I have a, a viewer who likes um, watching this, and shout out to you, my friend. This I, isn't what we're looking for. I appreciate you watching my videos, especially Eleanor. I love the comments, too. Keep them up. Keep up the comments, my guy. Doesn't look like anything. I mean, that thing goes off, and I'm like, ooh, what is it? See, like that. What is this? Probably nothing. Eh, you never know. But why? What's that got to do with this investigation? It's kind of weird. This is probably the same bar. Yeah, it is. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. What? Oh, okay. My uh, ID badge is um. If you'd excuse me, ladies. Wait, 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 wait. Lars was out in the rain last night. Yeah, wait, what's this? Also, my fire company just got a call. Stand by. We can see if Pinker can match the impression to the crime scene. Alright, we are back. Sorry about that. I am not going to take the fire call as of right now. It's just, it's just a simple call. I mean, it's, it's a fire alarm. It's really nothing. So she went out without her handbag? Looks like it. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Yeah, but there's, there's not much. There's not much to say. And what's this? She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Yeah, really. Interesting. I wonder why she'd leave that behind, though. And why do we... I'll do be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Why do we have to call someone? Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Putting you through now. We'll never figure out her name either. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks, ma'am. Oh, man. All right, we have to record, talk. Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Okay, very good. Um, possible suspects? Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. What? What? Okay. Um. Uh, bow rope. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna lie on this one. I think you're lying, Lars. I'm gonna lie on this I think one. You were mad at your wife for embarrassing Lars you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her, and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? 
Um, where? Oh, tell me we did not get that wrong. Wait. Tire tracks, blueprints, laundry. Okay. Matchbook. Jacket. Can I somehow back out of this? Can I somehow... You're off the hook. For now. How? I don't... I'm being dead honest. How? Wait. How? But like... I don't... Can we... Can we seriously... If you have more questions, I'd rather get this over with now. No. I'm being dead honest. Can I like stand up? Oh my god, wait, no. I'm going nuts. Give me a second, guys. I'll be back. All right, we're back. I do apologize. I actually missed something. I went back into the video because I was like... All right, I, went, I looked up a video and I was like, what the hell am I missing? I'm missing this piece of crap out here. I'm missing the bow rope. Looks like a match with the ligature marks. See, two and two click together. When he was talking about the bull rope in the very beginning, and, or like a, a rope in the beginning, and then I'm like, wait, and then I saw a rope on the boat, and I was like, oh my god, I messed up. And I had to restart the entire case. But now that I have everything, now that I have everything, let's go talk to the stirp bag. What, what dinged? Seriously, what dinged? Oh, the, the, the marker, yeah, that. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. Yeah, it is. Okay, now we have to call dispatch. Let them know. Operator, that, give that's what I back. missed. I missed the bow rope or whatever rope. Putting you through now. And I was just like, oh, I messed up big time. Phelps badge, 1247. How can I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? Yep. No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. That was a prowl car. Thanks for your help. Okay, now we talk to this guy, and then he li We have to accuse him of lying. Yes, for the yes. Record, okay. Mr. All right. What is your wife's this name? is where this is where the Seriously. campaign continues. Possible suspects. Do you have any idea why anyone? And then hurt your wife? lie, and then I believe it's the bow rope. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It's the Can't rope. I literally missed the rope on the boat, and I'm s I'm kicking last. myself in the I ass think you for it. Your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then uh, dumped her body on the hill. You think I, don't I know, strangled guys. my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Bow rope, right here. Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bow line from your boat is a perfect match. Look, I know this looks bad. I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. Okay, alibi? You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Uh... Doubt? You let okay. your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, That's my I question. Angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. Bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Uh, victim state of mind? Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. I gave you the benefit of the doubt on that one. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. Cards? I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. 
What time did she leave the park? Watch your mouth. We got a little children About prison. Maybe a little earlier. Uh, can I lie on that one? Last what contact. Was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8:30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. That's a lie. What about the um You're lying, boots? Lars. You didn't come straight home. Did and the uh, figure that muddy jacket. Uh, muddy jacket. You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. Are you sure? I got the car this morning. Are you sure Next nothing happened? Questions, Mr. Tarleton. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken a dancing. In my experience, Mac, be given to broads, you'll be given into them your entire life. Sounds like the Terrelson Broad had her last drink at Baron's Bar. We should check the place out. Appreciate your time, sir. You believe this guy's story? Nope. Kind of rings true. Okay, so we're going to Baron's Bar. Er, no. Well, yeah, we'll do Baron's Bar. Sir, you can drive. You're behind the wheel. Interesting. And then after we're gonna go to the hobo camp. Gents, Again. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yep. Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Yeah, we do. Oh, uh, last contact what with the victim. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around, uh, 10.30, I think. Later than... I I'm gonna give him the truth on this one. On foot? In a car? By bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. God damn it all! I asked them to hold the mayo! <laughs> Put out an APB on the cab. Three five nine one should be traceable. <laughs> oh my God, that is so me at a restaurant. God damn it, they forgot to hold the mayo. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night. I get plenty of bums in here, but nothing to fit that description. I'm gonna give you doubt on this one. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over. Promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. Ooh. The other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Wait. This is after this is oh my Any freaking idea where god. She was headed? Okay. Uh, nope. I didn't get that. Um um truth on this one, I guess. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. And Thank did that happen? Help, we'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates. That's him. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. Uh, why? You can't let the son of a bitch get away. Why are we chasing him? Does the chicken come with fried tomato? Go, Phelps, get after it. Get your fat ass in the car and... Oh, you to gotta finger. ride. Get in and drive. What do you mean we gotta... Oh, my God. Oh! I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. We will, we will. Oh crap. 
Oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna lose him. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Oof. Clean this asshole off the road. Oh, I just did. He's weaving all over traffic. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. I forgot. All right, you got me. I've had enough. Give it up, LAPD. Oh. Okay, Bates. You're going to answer some questions. I have a choice in this. Yeah, you do. Um, contact with the victim? Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. What the hell does he have? She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Screw you, we're not finished. Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what oh, we want to know. Oh, baton. She's okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. Okay. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. Um, down? I don't know. You've done time. Okay. You? Is that why you ran? I'm Whew. on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. So wait, does that mean we go to the hobo camp now? I wonder... I wonder if we go to the hobo camp on this one now. I think we do. Car 11 King to KGPL. KGPL, go ahead 11 King. I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. We lay all sightings to 11K. And now I gotta use the game well here. Yellow cab trace. Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How could I help, Detective? Are there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Baudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads: James Jessup, U.S. Navy able seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Oh boy. Could be our man. Thank you. So I guess we don't go to the hobo camp? Something tells me we do. I'll be right back. Where's the got you now? Alright, I'm back. 11K, yellow cab number 3591, sighted at the corner of Wilshire and Whitmer. Repeat, Wilshire and Whitmer, 11K. 11K, further on your APB on yellow cab number 3591. Vehicle identified as Reggie's Cafe, heading north on Whitmer. KGPL clear. Okay. So now we're chasing after a cab. Yeah, um, where is the cab? You see our taxi anywhere? Call 11K, your suspect vehicle, yellow cab, 3591, sighted at 6th and Valencia. Oh, is that the yellow thing? Oh, wait. Yeah, right here.
Get out of the vehicle, a hole. Really? Get back in. Get back in. This guy ain't gonna stop for us. Dude. LAPD, we're investigating a murder. What's that got to do with me? The fair you picked up from Baron's bar last night. What was the woman wearing? It was a green dress. Oh, don't tell me something's happened to her. Tell me about her. <laughs> she was with the sailor, and he was all over her. She wasn't having any of it. Said she just wanted to dance. But he had that look in his eye. Where did you drop them off? It's at the Crystal Ballroom. What time? Uh, after midnight. 12.30? Something like that. Thanks. You've been a big help. Well, that's going to ruin my day. You've ruined my day. So now what? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm guessing we go to Central then. Breathe. Oops. No. Breathe, damn it. I'm trying to breathe, okay? This case is like driving me nuts, though. I don't know why we're going, like, Hobo Camp. That's it. Like, why? Why? What and why? I just don't get it. Literally, I don't get it. How far across town is the central station? Good lord, I'm gonna have my partner drive. So I guess we're going back to the central station to try and figure out why. Oh, crap! Calm I, down. I didn't know that was there. You know what? Let's take the stairs. Why not? We're being that reckless. Let's just be that reckless. Turn for. What's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. Man. Oh my god. I just love how I park. My god. Parking is something I don't like doing. So shut up. I think his name is Felt. I read about him in the paper. Okay. I'm going up to the lakes to watch the races on Saturday. Good for you. Too. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Interesting. Okay, interview two. How do we get there again? Uh, interview. Apologize immediately. Got a stakeout down on second later tonight. Secretary's duty search and press office. Wait, where's. When we're not Move. Interview room two. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Belts and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. Yeah, please. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. Contact with the victim? You went to Baron's bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. 
That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. Hmm, okay. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. I caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. Incident with Bates. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. We already He's did. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jesse. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. Ha! <laughs> Movements prior to the murder. The ballroom? Uh, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab and I caught a bus back to the base. I'll doubt you we again. Spoke to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the Crystal Ballroom. I'd had enough. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She, she looked old. I left around closing, maybe 1.30. Got on a bus and she fell asleep on my shoulder. Which bus? An all-American, 249. I went past her place. She jumped off and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. The Indiana's down there. She's being scrapped. And that was the last you saw of Teresa. Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. Okay, cab ride with the victim. The cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's Ooh. not how I'd put it. Doubt. So the last thing you wanted was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah, it did. She knew what a guy's looking for, all broads do. Dancing comes second. And what happened at the Crystal Ballroom? Nothing. Not even a little hand relief. She had another couple of drinks. Oh my there was god. No fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. Thanks. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Now what? Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Come with me, buddy. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. So this is where we go to the hobo what camp. now? Drive all the way to San Pedro and check his locker? Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. Well, I'm pretty sure... Let's go investigate the bus depot first, and then we'll go tag our guy. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. As if I can even drive. My god. Three suspects in the can and one on the hoof. And still no hard evidence on any of them. No, there really isn't. KGPL to car 11K. 11K, come in. Go ahead. 11K, go ahead. Patrolman reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. Receive. 11K, roger that. Only have time to get downtown. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KTPL, we have Lars Terrelson picked up. 7K, roger. roger. 11K, could you put an APB out on, uh, uh, something? That should be my LSPD FR uh, thing. 11K. 11 King. Or King 11, technically. Right? One Adam, one. One, one King. No. 2K11. 2K11. Yeah, 2K11 sounds interesting. So now what? Do we just go breaking into buses trying to figure out what 248 was or whatever? There's a lot of buses out right now, dude. No, not five seven eight. Not nine one eight. Uh not nine five eight is two four something. Four forty three. Uh, 
328. This has got to be the last one, right? 2262? Two, what was that number again? 249. Okay, okay, okay. 249. This is 918. I think we already investigated these two. Yeah, 578. 249 is somewhere out on the streets then. It's him. And we have to go tracking it. God dang it. And thank you, ma'am. You have a safe trip now. Where are you boys headed today? Huh, looking LAPD. for 249. We're the driver of All American 249 would have been around midnight onwards last night. Uh, just a minute. Frank Zeffirelli. He's your man. Where can we find him? Frank is out on the 7-4. Can you tell us the route? Hang on. Uh, I should have it mapped out here somewhere. So now we have to go track down a freaking bus. God damn. What in the world? I saw his picture. Yeah, what's that case with the lady that got cut up? Like the dolly? Oh, Jesus, I'm Joseph and Mary. You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs... Why? Why? Going to church doesn't make you a Christian. Any more than staying in the garage. No, we're not going to drive the whole thing, are we? Won't take long. We have a siren. God damn, bro. bro, I'm not going to remember that route. If I'm being dead honest, I'm not going to remember that route. No, can he drive? Can you drive to this one? And where exactly oh. are we going? Well, it looks like we do have All to drive. Seven, four. Let's go get it. Um, what's this red line? What is this? Is this the route? Really? Oh, it is the route. No freaking way. That's amazing. All right, that's nice. Could be a long trip. Cole. Tell me about or it. It could be a short one. And here's me without my hip flask and only a pain in the ass for company. Way to kick off the drive in high spirits, Rusty. Comments like that put me in just the right mood for some legwork. Touchy. You know what your problem is? You don't like hard work. This kind of rigorous search is what police work is all about. Discipline. Save it, Phelps. You're just as bored as I am. No, not really. This is so freaking dumb. Trying to find a bus. Like, come on. I obviously did not play this far into the Eleanor campaign. I had no clue that we were actually searching for a bus. What number is it again? The 72? Something like that. Nope, still no sign of him. Did you doze off, Rusty? I think you slept through my solving the case. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Just give me a nudge to see him, right? How about you nudge me? I think that's a job for your wife. Oh. Ooh. That's funny. So, we're really doing this on camera, live action. Um, this is Ellie, or this is Ellie, well, this is Live PD Ellie Nor Edition. We are searching for a bus. Why exactly? I don't friggin' know. We're just looking for a bus that's called 78. Will we find it? Tune in to find out. After this. So it looks like we're getting nowhere with this one. Hey, do we know if, um... Well... Oh, that's a landmark? Okay. I was like, why... Why is it giving me a picture? Yeah, it's a landmark. Well, I don't care about landmarks. I care about finding a stupid bus, though. This is so freaking dumb. 
How are we supposed to find... I don't get it. I really don't get it. How are we supposed to find a bus? How long is this bus route? It actually covers an area around the size of Central Division. The probability is we'll find it about halfway around. Bad luck says we'll be chasing it all night. Tell me about it. Driving me nuts over here. I'm ready to speed up the game footage for God's sake. Like, oh my God. I was totally not looking at Twitter. This is starting to grate a little. You know, whatever happened to the joys of rigorous search? Dog and police work, you know? They went out the window. What do you about mean? We actually have the bus? Hey. Oh no, freaking away. Don't count on it. That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. We actually have the bus. My god, how happy I am right now. That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. I already did. Is this where I get out and talk to the guy? Yeah, it looks like it. Is some kind of problem, buddy? LAPD. We're investigating a murder. You had a sailor and a woman in a green dress on your bus late last night? That's correct. And the woman got off first, around 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's right. And the sailor stayed on all the way to downtown. Can you tell us where you let the woman off? On California Street. To tell you the truth, she looked a little lost, like she got off on the wrong stop or something. I didn't like dropping her off near that hobo camp. You've been a big help, Mr. Zeffirelli. Okay, so now we go to the hobo camp. So Sailor Boy escaped by the seat of his bell-bottom trousers. He left the broad alive. Left her by the hobo camp. Which means he's as good as killed her. We can't eliminate any of them, but the disfigured man should be our starting point. I'm gonna call for some backup. These bows hate cops. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. What the hell was that? Why is it playing that music? Yeah, I think this is where we're supposed to be. Oh. Hello, buddy. LAPD. We'd like a word with Why you are they closing the door? Interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. Oh crap. How do we do that like this? If you want your rightful share, we need to fight for it! These men know they're harboring a murderer. Damn, dude. Is that a real Q siren hey, I hear in the background? What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Okay, but why did Rusty have to shoot those people in the gut? Like... Why? The Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it, see what you find. Oh, you sure as hell right I'm gonna toss it. Optimistic, Cole. Eh, not really that optimistic. Well, kind of optimistic. 
We gotta figure out though what we're going here for. A purse with Ackerman doesn't look like much of a dancer. Yeah. Ah. Those purses, though, my God. What's this? Oh, what is that? Yo, wait, 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 wait. Can you look at that. What is that? Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. Ah. Oh. My God, that's crazy, yo. And we've got this, but I don't want to see the story behind the headline. No, thank you. So now what? I guess we interrogate that little bastard. Let's go back to Central. Das is crazy, man. You're behind the wheel. Yeah, you're behind the wheel. And you better be proud of it, too. Being behind the wheel. The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has... History, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession and we can charge the bum with murder. But how are we gonna get that out of him though? That's the thing. I've been going for an hour and two minutes. My God. And I have to... I have to come home, edit this, da 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 Unless I edit this now. Ugh, boy, oh boy, I don't know. I'm tired though, holy crap. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Going this way. Down my sap. What do you mean this way? Oh. I'm gonna move it up to a 45. I wanna stop him with one right Wait. Now. Come on, dude. No good, John, with me, detective. Well, where are oh, we dear. going? I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot free. Do we go to exam room too? Where do we go? Wait. Interview room one. The cop who solved the big case and got Secretary. Goddamn Bruins are having a season from hell. Dude. Interview room one. Do we go in here? Yes, we do. You were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You tell me. No argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Dude, he's gonna get like punched in the face. What's the motive for Why murder? Did you kill Mrs. Terrelson. I have no recollection of the people I have killed. You lying a hole. Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. You calling me lackey? What about the blood stained rope piece? We found a matching piece of rope in your lean to. I think we'll find the blood will match too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? You're an ass. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. Benefit of the doubt. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed. But I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Okay, so he... Where were you around 2 a.m. last night? 
at the camp. Lie. You were up on the hill. You were seen during the day. We have a witness. We have evidence. Come clean with me, Ackerman, and I'll see what I can do for you. I despise your pity. You have nothing that links me to this woman. Um, the purse? And the purse? We have you cold, Ackerman. Come on. The purse and the ballroom ticket were in your lean-to. Tell us why you did it. I kill because people need killing. It's what I was trained to do. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. And what? That's it? So, what are you in here for? Golly, man. And that's the a end of this one. Down on his luck, I can abide. Jesus. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor Theresa Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. Yeah. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. Are you proud of me or what? Early visit to the hobo camp might have offered a lead, but good luck finding a coherent witness. You know, this is why... <sighs> At least we're done, okay? At least we're done. Is this part of the thing? I think this is part of it. That's it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry that it was such a long episode. Have a wonderful day, my friends. Goodbye.